Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Baraka Blue and you're tuned in to celebrate mercy. I'm going to read a poem that's entitled Beloved. It's about the beloved. Peace be upon him. And it's a summary that I put into poetic form of a passage in Imam Ghazali's Ihya al Numadin where he describes the character of the Prophet. So here we are. Bismillah. Can you imagine one who was the gentlest of men while being the most brave and just of all who've been? One who conquered all desires of self that make men weak, who granted all who asked him precisely what they seek, whom only jewels poured out his mouth whenever he would speak, who was the gem amongst the stones of men who shined unique. A selflessness and generosity that some would say was merely myth until they'd seen one of the lovers of his way. Who used to mend his sandals, used to patch his clothes, who used to serve his family whenever he was home who had a noble shyness, not gazing long upon a face, who honored all he ever met, be he king or be he slave, who always felt himself at home the most amongst the poor, who never angered for himself, but only for his Lord, always just, always truthful, conscious of the one, even if it brought discomfort to himself and those he loved. A satiated stomach his whole life was rarely felt, not due to poverty, but preference of others to himself, who knew the time of day by sun, the direction by the stars, who'd walk amongst his enemies without a single guard devoid of any trace of self, just humble and serene, eloquent but not verbose, just precisely what he means. Whom all within his company felt light and sacred cheer, whom there was not a thing within creation that he feared, who loved to play with children and run races with his wives, who joined the festivities and honor customs of all tribes. When people yelled and lost their cool around him, he was calm, who asked forgiveness for his enemies, even as they did him wrong, who kept a goat he'd milk himself for people in his house, whose wives, when asked about him, said he was the perfect spouse, who never looked down on a pauper or flattered once a prince, who called every soul unto the one without even a flinch. Every single gorgeous trait of character he had, of noble lineage, yet he was the orphan of his clan. One imbued with wisdom and piercing inner sight, yet he was the unlettered one who'd neither read nor write. All knowledge and trait of character unflawed were placed inside his very being directly by a law. The way to salvation and triumph after death, to detachment and joy in life with each and every breath. To walk the righteous path and never falter come what may. And may Allah give us success in following his way. They call him al -Amin, the trustworthy, the honest. And I call him beloved, my master, Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa